Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLay with using windowshomeserver.com and the BYOB podcast. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a client restore using the client restore wizard on another computer on your network. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get the client restore wizard folder onto our desktop. I'd like to give a special thanks to Windows Home Server MVP Gray Lancaster for showing me the location that is now moved from the client to Windows Home Server 2011. We will remote desktop into our server. We will right mouse click on Open Windows Explorer. Double click on the C drive. Double click on Program Files. Windows Server. Bin. Client Restore. And the top folder 1, FAE, etc, etc. Now you have two folders header here. You have 64 and 86. Those corresponding to the types of restores. Highlight these, right mouse click, and click on Copy. Minimize your remote desktop, and then click on Paste. You now have these available. Double click on the X64 if you're using a 64-bit restore. And how to tell is you right mouse click on Computer and go to Properties, and that'll tell you if you're running 64 or the regular. Once open, you'll have Client Restore Wizard. Now you need to copy the entire folder over because it has the DLL files. So right mouse click on Client Restore Wizard, click on Run as Administrator, and there you are. Okay, so you want to double click on the X634 folder. You want to right mouse click on Client Restore Wizard, run as administrator to start the process. We're going to click on Next for the Full System Restore Wizard. You're going to choose the name of the server. I have two, so you want to make sure that you choose the right server. Click on Next. Now you're entering your password. Uh, the server password is required for all restores. Click on Next. Now it takes a moment because it's going to have to look through the server and open up the image and the computer. You can see here it defaults to the computer. If you want, you can choose another computer if you're restoring. Uh, I'll just leave it as the default. And you can see now it'll give you a list of backups. Now for me, I'm just using the single backup uh, to do this test. Uh, for you, you will have multiple backups over multiple dates. Choose the one that is the one you want to restore to. For example, let's say your computer uh, died today, you would go back maybe to yesterday or the day before. You always want to choose the proper backup. It takes about a moment because it's going to have to open up the images, including all of the partitions and drives that were restored. You can see on the left-hand side, we have the backup that is available. And on the right-hand side, we have partitions that are available for your system. Now we're going to use disk management. And what we're going to do is we're going to verify that we have a disk that's ready or that is the recipient of these partitions. You can see here I have disk 2, which is shown as my 100 megabyte system reserved partition and new volume, and I have the remainder as new volume. I leave them titled as new volume because it's easier to see. You'll notice on the left hand side here, by default, it wants to restore the system reserved partition to the existing partition, which is what we do not want to do. So scroll down to the bottom and choose one for one. Choose System Reserved 100 and then choose the C volume for the new volume. You can see it'll give you green arrows showing that it's acceptable and ready to go. Click on Next to start the process. I am restoring a 64 gigabyte SSD to a 160 gigabyte uh, laptop drive. It takes about 25 minutes to perform the process. I will verify that everything is going properly. I'll check to make sure that the computer is going to copy over and that it takes a while. Now, it's going to give you an elapsed time, and that's a rolling number. So it'll go 4 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. It eventually will get up to the right time and count back down. Uh, you could expect, um, again, about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the size of the drive that's being restored. Through Camera Magic, I will complete this. 5 minutes, and we're done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to verify before we remove the drive and finish up this restore, we're going to verify that everything is done correctly. You can see that you should have a system reserved file and you should have a new volume file. These again are both partitioned out. What I will do is I will go to right mouse click on computer, go to disk management, 
And then what I'll do is I will verify that everything has been copied over correctly. So let's do that right now. You can see if I scroll down, my disk two now has the system reserve and it has the primary partition and it's all set up. So now that I'm done, I'll close everything out. I'll verify the information and I'm now ready to remove this drive and put it into the client that needs to have the restore done. Please check back with using windowshomeserver.com for everything for the connected digital home and Windows Home Server 2011.